Hey guys, Nick here from Yance Battle, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to paint a Mimera Eldar Guardian. Here are the paints I'll be using. So first I started the model with three parts, the body, the head, and the um, arm with the gun on it. I found it was much easier to separate it into these three body parts than to have it all put together. And so then I put Vallejo Game Color Turquoise through my airbrush and I thinned it down with Vallejo Airbrush Thinner. And so I, I primed the model white first, and because of that, this paint really goes on quite well. Um, just make sure you get it in all the cracks and crevices, and make sure you hit all of the model. I'm switching to the arm, and I did the same thing there. Now I put Silly Putty around the gun, since it's a weird irregular shape I couldn't really tape it off, but Silly Putty worked really well to be able to cover it, since I want to keep it that uh, white color. And then I went in with Model Color Green Sky. And so with this, I sprayed a lot on the chest and the abdomen, and then I just did like a gradient down from there on the arms and the legs. Then I did the same thing on the back, I did a great big spurt on the back, and then I brought it down in a gradient way down to the turquoise. And I sprayed some on the top of the model there. And I also did some fixing here and there to make sure that the gradient was perfect. Now, with the color choices that I chose, um, this model is going to be much darker than other Mimera's are, but that's because I really want the face and the gun to really, really pop out. And so if I chose these darker colors, then the white gun and the white face will easily pop out and look really good. And I did the same gradient on the gun. I did more towards the top and less towards the middle and end. Then I moved on to the head and I'm painting it black. So I uh, primed it white because I thought it would be much easier to paint black onto white than white onto black. And so I primed it white just so you'd have the beautiful white face and then I could easily have done that with an airbrush. And then I thought, might as well just go in with a brush to paint the um, other parts of the face. Then I went in with gory red to hit the eyes, and then after that I went in for bloody red for the eyes. Now as we move on to the gun, I took off the silly putty to reveal this nice white gun. And then I painted black, Vallejo black, on three sections of the gun, the middle, the top there, and the bottom piece here. And I also hit the gems and the bottom part of the gun there. Now I'm hitting this gem that has like a case around it with Vallejo game color silver. And now I'm painting a wash all over the model. I went with a black wash that I thinned down. And I'm painting it all over the model to make sure it is dark. And also to really make like the abs show and the different cracks and crevices really pop. And then I painted all of the little gems on the model. I first started with the black coating. And then I moved on to a gory red and then I'm going to move on to a bloody red. I'm not painting any of the gems on the arms or legs because I don't find it necessary. And then I moved on to the gun and I painted gory red and bloody red on every single one of the uh, gems on the gun. The bloody red really makes the gems pop. 
Now moving back to the gun, I am painting the tube part with the light game color silver. And then the gem that's on the end there, I will paint the same way as I painted the other gems. And there's the finished model. So as you can see, the bright gun and the bright face really pop out to the dark model. Thanks for watching this video. Leave tutorials and suggestions you want us to do in the comments below. If you want more content, you can visit our website at eonsbattle.com. Thanks for watching.